Hi, my name is Mandar Marathe and uh, in this week's painting project, we are going to paint a landscape based on a reference photograph which I clicked in the Belgavi area. It's going to be a farmland scene in which we'll have uh, farmland, some mountains in the background and a big tree. And we're going to use the M3 method of painting in which we simplify the complete painting process. The first step will be composition based on the reference photograph. The second will be the blocking in, in which we lay in the broad colors of all the shapes in the painting. And the final and the third step will be about adding details so that we can make the picture or make the painting complete. So let's get started with the first step in which we use the photograph and then compose the picture. I'm using this photograph as the reference image for my painting today. This is a photograph which I clicked somewhere near the city of Belgaum when I was just traveling through the city towards Goa. And I like the scene because of these fields. I thought I could use it for some painting. So I clicked the photograph. Obviously, it's not composed as I want it to be. So I'm going to use this tree or maybe this tree and the scene here to compose a picture. I don't want these two lines to mimic each other. So I might change the shape of the mountain like this. Then I'll have this, this big tree pushed back a little. So I want the tree to be something like this. May not be so high. But I want a big tree here, which is going to be dark on this side. And this is some part of land here. I also want to keep the, keep the sky very clean because I want the focus to be here. So it, this is the basic composition which I'm going to use. So now let's go to the next step in which I draw this on the canvas and then uh, start laying in the colors in the step two, which is the block in. See you in the next step. Welcome to this part of the painting process in which uh, I'll first explain you which colors I'm using, which brushes I'll be using, and then we will uh, make the drawing on this uh, canvas and then we'll get started with the blocking in. So as we say in M3 method of painting, we use only three colors. So this is uh, ultramarine blue. This is burnt sienna. It's sliding down because I've, I'm using a glass palette. Then we have uh, lemon yellow and we have titanium white. And we're going to use mostly three or mostly two brushes. This one is a flat brush with number 11. This one is a brush, again flat brush with number 9. And this is a small round brush with number 5. We'll use this only if we have to add some fine details. Otherwise, the main work of painting will be done with just these two brushes. So in the last step, we saw how we made this composition and I'm going to now draw this on this paper or it's oil paper, which I'm using to paint this time. And for medium, I'll be using only linseed oil. So this is just the basic drawing, which I need to get started with the blocking in. And this portion obviously will be the farmland and the light will be coming in from here. So this hill will have some highlights here. So now we start with the blocking in. So I'm taking the burnt sienna and the darkest dark is going to be in this tree. So I'm going to use this blue color to make a dark brown. Maybe I'll add some yellow and let's test this. So 
I can make it slightly bluish. So I'm adding that blue. And now I can, yes, now I'm, I can lay in this color. And I'll be adding slight amount of white here because this mountain is also not very close to us. But then let's first try out this color. So this is, I think it needs to be lighter. And at this stage, I am okay with it, but later on, I'll add maybe some variety to this in terms of color and value. But as far as the blocking is concerned, I am okay with what I have now. So I'll go to the mountain shape in the background. So this mountain is far away from us so it's going to be more blue green or blue and lighter than these values i'm going to use this white here and more blue And I want this edge between this hill and this mountain to be slightly sharp because I want to indicate that this is very much closer to what where we are standing and this mountain is far away. But you can see that the, this edge is here, this edge is very sharp whereas this is blurred here and I want it that way so that the attention of the viewer goes here in the focal area. It will make the green stand out because this reddish color is the complement of green. So whenever I apply the greens of the farm, it's going to stand out. Right now I am just getting rid of the white of the oil paper. So that's enough for me. Now I am going to add the green. And I want the form to be very fresh and bright colored. So I am going to first try applying color with palette knife and it's going to be slightly greenish than what it is. And now I'll come to the sky area and for that I'm going to use another brush because uh, I want a cleaner brush there. I'm going to use a smaller brush and uh, the sky is not going to be very detailed but still it will be uh, more bluish on this side than this side. And I'm also going to have this blue towards the top of the sky or towards this area top portion of the painting at least. And I don't want this edge to be so sharp so I'm going to drag my brush over that to make this edge blurred. And I'm also going to add a sky hole here. So as far as the blocking is concerned, I am happy with it. I will keep this brush like this only and not wash it right now. But uh, now we are done with the second step of the painting which is the blocking. So I will take a break now. 
whatever medium you are using it's always good to take a break while you are painting and look at the painting from a distance which gives you a much more better perspective of the painting or you will instantly know uh, if something is going wrong. There is another method which you should try to uh, find out if there are any obvious mistakes which is using a mirror. Let me see if I have a mirror here. There is a, I use a mirror which and I look at the painting in the mirror which uh, makes the mistakes obvious. So you should give that method a try and uh, after the break we will continue and add details to this painting. So see you after the break. Welcome back after the break and now we will be adding details to this painting and I will start by refining each shape in this painting. So I am going to decide now I'll, I think I will start from this mountain which I feel after looking at it from distance, I noticed that I can make this area slightly more bluish because the sun is coming or sunlight is coming from this side. So this portion of the mountain is going to have some shadow and that's going to be bluish. So I'll make a, I'm using the earlier color because I'm using oils. I can use these colors even after coming back after a break. If you are using acrylics, maybe your colors have already dried up. So it's a good time to clean up your palette. So I'm going to test this blue here. Looks good. And now I'm going to refine the shape so that I don't have to come to it again. I'm going to use this corner of the brush to indicate some trees or bushes here. And I'm also going to indicate some bushes here and there. They'll not have definite shape on the mountain, but then I'll want some variation in the mountain shape here. And I'm just laying in some yellow color direct and I'm not dragging the brush so that it creates this kind of shapes or indication of crop receiving direct light. And maybe these are flowers, maybe these are bright shoots of the crop or whatever it is but I just want to give that area a bit more brightness. Now I'll come and add some darkness or dark green to the bottom of the painting. I also don't want it to be too dark but just indication of crop in the foreground. 
this will also prevent the viewer's attention from going out of the painting so the compositional adjustments of the painting or involved in the painting continue even when you are actually painting so composition is not only about arranging shapes it's also about arranging colors of the shapes or values of the shapes and now in this area again i need a green middle value green and this green i want to have slight reddish tinge so i'm applying this middle value green here i'm making sure that i don't lose the sky holes and now some highlights let's i want to mix some brown to this color to make it not so lemon yellow I'm wiping my brush in between two strokes because I don't want that white or any other color to change the color which is there on the brush. let me step back and see this painting from a distance this will just make give an impression that we are seeing things from or through the dark foliage under this tree with this brush i'm going to create some shape and maybe i'll add some white to the bottom of the tree just to separate this land from the area or from the dark foliage and let's see if i can make few marks like this yeah that's enough to uniform i think i will call this painting done after having a look at it from a slight distance so i might need some vertical lines somewhere here yeah something like this just to break the monotony of the horizontal
I think that's it. This white is becoming too obvious, that's why I'm just smudging these areas. some of this blue here as the holes through which we can see the mountain I think that's enough and now let's remove the tape I wear these gloves just to protect my hand so that I don't have to or it's easier for me to wash afterwards. So here is the painting. So just to summarize this uh, painting demonstration or painting project, we started with a reference photograph and then we composed a painting using the broad or big shapes in that uh, photograph. Then we drew it on the canvas, we blocked in the main colors and then in the final step we added the details to give the painting the finished look. I hope you like the video and each week we paint a new painting project so that you can use the photos which I include in the video or with the video, download it, compose a painting and make your or paint your own version of this painting. So until next time, happy painting.